This is code.org, and if you've been following along, we have an awesome background set up. All right, let's see what we're doing now. Adding sprites, perfect. Now that you have your more static elements, unmoving, other than we did the challenge, right? The random number, uh, elements of your card laid out, it's time to add sprites. Your sprites should provide the primary animations and interactions for your card. So feel free to get creative and have fun. Check out the sprites table on the back of your planning sheet for each sprite in your table. Initialize the sprite at the top of your program with create sprite. So here was my sprite table, right? I just listed out a couple as an example. What image would it be? What property would I use? This planning sheet's really helpful. So let me go to animation and I'm going to click. And I said I was going to use a cow and a robot. So cow, hello cow. And then I'm just going to I like this robot, but let's see. We do have some big decisions to make here. Nah, just kidding. I like that robot. And we can always change it up some, but I like them how they are. So that's how they're going to be. Boom. All right. Now, oh, I also want to use a ground, right? So I'm actually going to use Sprite for a ground. And you might use it for background, but there's something I want to show you that's kind of tricky when you do this. So if you're using one of the backgrounds, you want to make sure it's above everything. Let me use Sprite for ground so I can show you what I mean. Um, this one, actually. Okay. Now, I want to add all of these. Inside the draw loop, update the spot properties. We will be constantly animating. We'll deal with conditionals. That means ifs. Okay. So first off, let's add all of these. So I'm headed to Sprites, and I need Sprite and Set Animation. And again, Sprite sprite and set animation and i'm gonna have three sprite and set animation so let me do it like this first i'm gonna say ground sure ground ground okay and i need to set that to the ground grass yep and now i'm gonna say robot robot and set the animation. Now, all of these are going to be on top of each other, which we don't want. Cow and cow. Right? Because all of them are initiated, and that's that fancy word they were using, create sprite, uh, initialized at 200, 200, smack dab in the middle. We can't see any of them yet. Why not? Well, we created these variables, and we told the computer what picture we wanted, but we didn't draw them. Right? So we need to head over to... No, it's in world. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Draw sprites. And let me slap this here. And you should be screaming at your computer. Because, great, I drew them right here. And then we hit the draw loop and run this 30 times a second. And I instantly cover them up with my sky blue, right? It's Sure, I draw the sprites. But then the last line of code is where it runs last. So what do I paint over? A sky blue background. Okay. So what if I put them here then? Reset, run. Ah, well, they're not big enough, but the sun would be over top of them, right? Because of their location. So I do want them zoop, down here. And that way they are the primary thing. They're on top of everything else because it's the last line of code being drawn. Okay, now that being said, what is going on with my ground? Where is it? It must be too small. So let's start using scale to get these things positioned. Okay, yeah, we definitely want to do scale. So my ground needs to be bigger. Ground, scale, I'm going to say 2, and that should be 200%. Yep, now I can see it. Because on on sprites, their scale, I'm going to do it for the cow too, because my cow's huge. Cow dot scale, I'm going to do 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is 50%. It's kind of strange. Okay. Now, what's happening here? Well, my ground is drawn first, which is what I want. If I... Pull my ground down here. Oh, I needed to do scale as well. Now it's on top of everything. And we want them to stand on top of the ground. So just like with everything else, code runs in order. It doesn't all get drawn to this block. But the order you declare and set the animation is, gonna di is going to dictate what's on top of what. So I don't want my ground at 200. I'm going to use the X and Y location. So 200 for the center of it for X is fine, but probably 350 for Y, because if you hover your mouse down here, it shows you X and Y. 
That's pretty good. I actually might go even more. 380, and I might do... Wow, okay. 400, just because of how large it is. Okay, cool. That's good. And now, my cow, I need much smaller. So, 0 0.3. I'm going to also scale down my robot. 0 0.3, which is 30%. Wow, my robot disappeared on me. So, 0 0.4. I'm going to put my cow here-ish. So, 330, 300 maybe. 300 for Y. And then that probably means 300 for the robot and 100 for X, because that would be over here. That's looking good. I'm going to push the cow up a bit. So 290 because 0 y is up here. 270. Awesome. I am liking this. I might give my cow a bit of a boost. 0.35 or 35%. Yes. Great. And there we are. Oh, fine. The robot will get a boost too. I don't want him to be lonely. All right, now we need to have any properties that we are going to be updating in here, right? They even already said this. So uh, inside the draw loop, update any sprite properties that we will constantly be animating. So one of the things we'll be animating is I said on my paper, I wanted to do if the robot's clicked, the robot will rotate. So then I'm going to go ahead and grab this rotation block, put it in here and say, find reset. Robot rotation is, I'm just going to do something small. So one. Oh, is if it is click, the robot's rotation is going to equal. Hmm. I'm just going to do the counter pattern. So robot dot rotation plus one. All right. So if it's clicked, I'm going to have the robot. There we are. Spin. Now he'll spin automatically. But soon we'll put the if statement, the condition. And the cows, I was going to have the y go up and down. So for that, I'm going to do a, well, a y. And to make it go up and down, I would use a random number. And what random number? Well, my y's current, my cow's current y value is 270. So I'm going to do something like 265 to to uh, 75 and then I need to put cow Rah! shaking like crazy Rah! <laughs> okay let's make sure we have what we need here create images yes yes yep this is good so we have our animations going and now we're going to set up our if statements in the next part onward